everyone. Welcome to today's video. My name is Morgan. If you haven't seen me before, I am a mother of one beautiful little boy. I post content three days a week and I like doing car vlogs about random things for bonus content. Today, I am going to be talking about interview process. So I have been um, working full time at least one job for, oh gosh, um, over 15 years now. Um, but majority of that time I have been in some type of leadership role um, or management position where I'm directly interviewing and hiring candidates. And we have been in an upswing um, for a while now where we're going through interviews. And as we kind of come out of the end of this Corona COVID-19 pandemic situation, I know a lot of other companies are going to be hiring. And you might be one of those people that is looking to get a job or maybe even switch positions in your current company. Um, but there might be an instance where you are going through an interview here soon. So why not sit down and talk about interviews today? There are going to, of course, be, I mean, this is going to be a very informal chat. And depending on your field, there's always going to be different nuances, but overarching themes, I would say, when you're going into an interview, make sure that you are prepared. What does that mean? That means that you have read the job description and that you've understood the job description. I personally um, think that it's important to kind of go through the key bullet points of what the job is asking for. Um, especially for the skilled pieces of the job description. And you can just write down examples of things you've done in your work history or your school history that directly apply to that skill. And when you're picking examples, you wanna make sure that you have examples that don't just say, oh, I am a great leader. Instead, give an example of how you were a great leader and allow the interviewee to come to that conclusion. So maybe you could talk about how you're a great leader in school. So this is your first job and you're going through the interview process. And you wanna say, um, when I'm in school, I often take the reins out of a lot of our group projects and I am in charge of managing everyone's aspect to make sure that we are getting our project done in a timely fashion, that we're all working together cohesively, that we're continuing to have open communication. Some things I like to do to ensure that is blah, 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 blah. Maybe you use outlines or you provide meeting minutes or you structure times that everyone's going to be in the lab together and work on a project. So that's just a very basic level example, but go through the bullet points of the job description and write down some specific examples of how you have a skill set, experience, or um, personality traits that would really shine in whatever you're applying for. So that way, if they ask you a specific question, you can pull from those notes, but also if they don't ask you, give me an example of how you have been a leader. You can use the example that you've already created and if it specifically calls out different instrumentation or different software pieces, um, I'm really great with Excel and I use that to really manage my projects throughout each transition, whatever it may be bury those things into your answers and so you're saying it without saying it, if that makes sense. Next one, be prepared and look professional. So I don't care if you are applying to be a janitor, if you're applying to be a CEO, you should dress like it is the most important interview you've ever been to in your entire life. So put on a nice shirt, if you have a suit, there, I just feel like you can never be overdressed for an interview. I think that's the best way of putting it. So make sure that you're putting your best foot forward and it's an interview. Even if for the job you're gonna be wearing jeans and a basic shirt, for the interview process, you wanna make sure that you're dressed up nicer than that, okay? Um, the next one I think is probably 
get yourself into a good headspace. And then the other side of things, if you're the person doing the interview, make sure that you are in the right headspace to conduct an interview. One of the pieces that I specifically um, really took to heart when I was going through my training process to do internal audits, the person that was training me talked about how you wanna make sure that you are set up for success going to your audit. If you are not in the mood to do an audit, don't do the audit because you're not going to be unbiased and have the greatest headspace to perform that work. And that's with everything, right? You want to make sure that you are setting yourself up to do the best possible job that you can. And in that, you want to make sure that you are clear-minded, that you aren't hung up on X, Y, or Z project that's undone or this person who cut me off on my way into work. Cleanse your mind, let all that go, and focus on what you are dealing with in the moment. More interview tips. So I think that it's really important to make sure that you research the company that you're applying for. And on that same topic, don't lie. If you didn't do the homework, don't lie about it. Because it's probably gonna come off like you didn't do the homework and you're probably lying. And honesty and integrity are two keystones. It doesn't matter what job you're applying for, or what you're doing in your life, you wanna make sure that you have integrity with whatever you're doing. So don't lie, do the work. It doesn't take much energy to research the company. And if you didn't have time to, or if you still have questions, because it really didn't give you much insight, say so then to the interview, say, yeah, it looks on your company website. I was really interested. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about your, your company? Companies are screening over video chat right now. You want to do what the interviewer is doing. So if they are really close to the camera, then you want to be close to the camera. If the camera is further back and they're showing more of their entire body, be a little bit further back from the camera. Um, if they are drinking water from a uh, glass, then yeah, I think it's appropriate to be drinking water from the glass. But if they are drinking coffee, then maybe you can have coffee. I, I probably wouldn't drink coffee in an interview. It might come off a little bit unprofessional, but just think of little things and uh, kind of mirror what they're giving you. So if they're being very serious in the interview, um, it's probably not the best idea to just be making jokes the entire time. But if they are joking with you and they have a playful attitude, then I would definitely toss in a little bit of humor um, so that you can show a little bit of your personality and that's probably appropriate in that interview. But be true to yourself, let yourself shine. And I think it's also really helpful if before you have the interview, you can get on the phone with your bestie and just have them pump up your head. I think it's so much easier to give a lot of compliments and see a lot of positive traits in other people. So what I was saying is it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to really appreciate the positive traits or attributes that you have as a person. So if you get on the phone with your best friend and they juice up your head, it just gives you like a little bit of um, an ego boost going into your interview and that will help you sell yourself because that's what an interview is, right? You're selling a product and you're that product. So keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions about interviews or anything in general that you would like to see on a car vlog, let me know in the comments below because I would love to continue doing this conversation and I know this was a very basic level um, kind of informational tidbit about interviews but I mean I could go way more in depth if you are interested in doing that um, but if there's any other topics that you are curious about whether it's you're wanting to get into the science field or you are looking to do whatever maybe you want to be a supervisor some tips on becoming a supervisor or moving from um, a supervisor position into a management position and what that's what that is like let me know down below because um, again I think that these topics are so so interesting I am always very curious um, and 
interested and devoted to professional development, whether that is my own professional development or my team's professional development. Um, I think that there is always opportunities to learn and grow. And so if I can help share a little bit about that um, journey or maybe something that might help you in your journey, I would love to do that. So I'm going to leave you with that information. I keep saying that guys, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I'm going to be talking to you soon. Again, we have regular content on Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central, and then some bonus videos like this one sprinkled in there throughout. If you enjoyed any of the content in this video, or you want to see a little bit more of me, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It is free to join the family and it really supports my channel. So I really appreciate everyone who decides to click that button. But until that next one, I'm going to talk to you later.